In the previous video in the SMED section, we showed you how to time the activities of multiple subjects uh, in a particular task. So if we play the video again, it was the guys collapsing a cage and then a stock man arrived. Now one note I should make that uh, uh, subjects does not have to just be individuals, it can also be a piece of equipment. Because very often when you're looking for process improvements in the SMED area, you're going to be interested in internal, external work, the machine running, when is the machine running in the process. So this can be timed as directly here. Uh, what we're going to do now though is we've got all our times here for our four operators and then we're going to pass it over into our process analysis area which means we're going to click on the time preview option at the top. So we double click and give it a few seconds and the process is going to be sent out and it's down here now. So here you can see we've got operator 1, 2, 3, 4 and the stockman. Now very likely you're looking at this and you might say, well this is my current state of the process. So you probably want to send this out to a Gantt chart so that uh, you can have a current state to show the operator in the management. So you, go, so you go to your summary and then what you can do is you come in here you say send it to a Gantt chart. Now the brown areas here, this is the filler. So you can see that operator 3, he's taken so long uh, to walk to the cage. These other guys are having to wait. The filler is the wait time here. And you can see that in the background here as well. Filler, the guys are waiting. One, two, and four are waiting for operator three to get over there. Now, since it came from the video time study, you can double click on here and you can see this operator number three going the wrong way around again. So again, he's going to the right when he probably should have gone to the left. Everyone's having to wait for him to get all the way around to his corner here. So we're going to close out of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring up this little savings grid here. So we click on the savings option here. And it brings up this little window here that we can move around as we wish here. Now the obvious thing to do here is talk to operator 3 and see whether we can ask him to go to the left instead of the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift click on this and it brings up this little handle. If he went to the left instead of the right we could say he would get there roughly the same time as everyone else. So we can line this up with the bottom here. And you can see it when I move off of this, it says we just generated a 6.3% saving here. We've reduced the work content by 6.3%. Now the big saving here comes, these other guys wouldn't have to wait. So the filler, the wait time, we can just click here and hit the delete and remove that there. As I do that, look at the saving going up at the top right here. Now if the operator's finished earlier, obviously the stockman could come in earlier. So we can do the same thing again, shift click on the filler, the wait time here. And I'm going to grab the little slider here and I'm going to drag it down now. Right? So I drag it down to get to the top of this guy. So by making these simple changes, we can estimate, we can reduce our work content by about a third and our cycle time by about 20%. Now in this case, you might produce another Gantt chart. This would be your future state. And here you can see we've eliminated all of the delay. Just the stockman has to wait for the other guys to finish here. And we could pop that out to Excel as well by exporting it right here. So we take that out of here. So we can quantify the saving that we're going to generate by the change here. And uh, we can present that to management as well here. Other thing you might do at this point though, uh, you might be interested in looking at the process from an ergonomic point of view. Because if you remember the previous video, if I double click on this, uh, we can see this operator the stockman rather, he's uh, struggling with a cage here. Perhaps we would let, like to let the supervisor in that department know he needs some help here. He could hurt himself doing this. He could also damage the product dropping it down there. So what can we do here to accommodate that? We go back to our home page here and we're going to switch to our ergonomics view which changes the colour codes that are happening here. Then I'm going to hover my mouse over the load cage and double click. And what it does then, it opens up my ergonomics view of the process here. So I can play the video back right from here and I can stop where I see a concern. So let's say I'm looking at this and I say, well, for sure he's going to hurt himself doing this. He probably needs some help, but if he's going to do that, he's going to hurt his back. So I click on the lower back. These are my different stress levels. No stress, light, moderate or severe. I'm going to say that's be pretty severe in the back here. He's reaching with his right arm. So give him moderate stress on the arm and hand. And because we get the video, we can also pick up that he's standing in one foot here might miss that if you're just observing it manually here. Then you can identify the types of pressure. So lifting force, posture, definitely twisting and turning, but not repetition, eye strain and so forth. What percent of the total video? I'll say 70% of that total video clip. I can put a note in here. Needs help here. And could damage product. 
by dropping it onto the uh, onto the trolley like that. Okay, so we put the note here. If I want, I can then click on the print right here, and that'll pop it immediately out to Excel, and you can see it right here. And we might shrink this down, and we might want to email this over to the supervisor in this department. And uh, if he gets this, he can double click on the play video link and see exactly uh, what the what the you're talking about when you're looking at this here. So that's very useful in terms of distributing information to the floor here. And uh, once we finish, we click on the save and exit and of course it's now going to highlight this particular activity from an ergonomic point of view is something that we want to look at so not only can we look at improving the process here but we can look at any issues we might have like ergonomics we can quantify the effect of the changes we're going to make and we can pop data out to support our recommendations